welcome back. Now on Bounce, it is time for our Ask Mama Max Hello. segment. <laughs> My mama is here every Tuesday to give us her unique perspective mm. on uh, different topics impacting families, uh, parents, children, what have you. Always good to have you here. Thank mm -hmm. you. We didn't get a chance to talk much in the back. So no, we talk. did. We're going to talk right now. We're going to talk serious stuff Let's right here. Let's get on it. Here we go. Uh, it's always good to see Thank you. Did I say that already? It said it in the prompter again. It's, it's okay. okay. You sorry. just reading the glass. Go ahead. The <laughs> a children's book about George Washington and his slaves has caused so much controversy that the publisher had to pull it from distribution. Get a little mm. serious here. We're talking about this book, A Birthday Cake for George Washington. Scholastic says it features Hercules, a slave, wearing a huge smile as he bakes the president a birthday cake. The book says he takes great pride in the task. But now critics say the children's book sugarcoats the tragedy of slavery. The publisher has admitted the book does not include enough historical context and could give a false impression about slavery. Should tragic history, events like slavery, mm -hmm. be depicted in children's books? What say you, Mama Matt? Well, I don't know. I'd say what I said <laughs> in the production. You know, those that lived in the big house back in the day, you know, when slavery was, you know, prevalent. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I would say they were pretty happy. I mean, from stories told down through the years, they were happy doing their job because Massa, or Master, or whatever you want to call him, was, uh, you know, good to them. And if there were, you know, children in the household, their children, the Master's children, taught the slave children how to read. So, I think, you know, I, I think he was kind of happy. I would be happy. I don't know, not being a slave, but you know. I think that's the point. <laughs> not yeah. being a slave? Right, or that being a slave was, you know, as long as I get to cook, you know, the president's cake, I'm good with being a slave. I think that's one of the issues that the critics are taking up here. Oh, well. I, I, I don't know, I just saw it from the other side. Okay, okay. Yeah. So there's a couple of different ways you can yeah, see it. Yeah, absolutely. So. There are people who would say, you know, the difference between house slaves and field slaves, how they were treated, mm -hmm. uh, the color of their skin, mm -hmm. which, of course, I've been, I think has deep roots of colorism issues within the black community. I think it started right. back then. Oh, yeah. And the division of house slaves versus um, field slaves. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, obviously the publisher saw what the critics were saying because they, they pulled it from distribution mm -hmm. that it can give a false impression. If that is your first um, introduction to slavery, mm -hmm. is a slave just being thrilled to cook the president a cake? Yeah, you well. Know, the president's birthday cake? You could make the argument that that is sugarcoating a very dark mm -hmm. and time um, deadly history, yes. time in history for an entire race but I think, of people. I think if uh, in, uh, whoever is presenting or reading the book or whatever should also if they're going to use or, you know, let that be a lead-in to telling the kids about slavery, they all should ha also should have something that's not so mm -hmm. sugar-coating. Okay. That on way they get the full picture. On the front of the book. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's leaving the onus then on a teacher, a parent, whoever. Right. Who's reading. I mean, that, right. that's a big responsibility. Hopefully that would happen. Mm -hmm. Well, but I mean, clearly. you know, knowing that that's not how it's really was, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. it could that be also an argument too that more people, more people will be attracted to a book that looks like they're smiling mm -hmm. on it. Absolutely, absolutely, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. I see. Okay. I see. Right. I see. Okay. X. <laughs> <laughs> Not X, but okay. Oh, well, I'll check. Check. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, checking on this next one. When one Canadian's widow, uh, the husband, died, she never thought that one of the most complicated things to deal with would be getting a password. 72-year-old mm. Peggy Bush told by Apple that she would need a court order to get the password to uh, her and her husband's iPad and Apple computer. Her daughter says that her mom made several phone calls to Apple and even gave them the pertinent serial numbers, her father's will, as well as a notarized death certificate, but the company still wouldn't budge. Apple says it is still working with the family on the matter. Mm. Uh, so, Mama Mac, should companies like Apple continue to protect a person's privacy even after they're dead? Well, when you got your spouse involved, I mean, that's in, the one that's doing the, that really needs the password. I think that's a bit above, uh, you know, the, uh, the privacy stuff. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Um, 
I mean, she presented all the proper credentials that would let them know, short of, you know, exhuming his body and taking a photo with him or whatever, to show that I am, I am his spouse. Right. You know, and I deserve to know what this is. Yeah. And I think this starts a larger conversation that it shouldn't just be one person that has access mm. to this information. That, you know, they, they say you should do this, that somewhere where your family could access, you need to have all of your passwords mm -hmm. written down. You mm -hmm. need to have all of, you know, your, you know how they say, answer questions, your security answers for whatever. Mm -hmm. Because we have a ton of accounts these days. Yep. You have email, you have your laptop, you have your tablet, you have your Too phone, many. you have your computer. Too many. You got everything. Yep. I mean, sometimes I just change my password because, child, I can't remember it. It's a, it, you know, it's a lot of passwords. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have it a go-to password. I know they say you shouldn't have one, but it's pretty funky. But sometimes I'm like, mm, mm -hmm. I capitalized right. a letter and I don't remember. This is you know, true. You know, I, I did that. Password. I did that with <laughs> Skype, and I was trying to Skype with Trey, right. and, and we had the to first... change the whole Skype yeah. password just to Skype with Trey over Christmas. You, who lives in Germany? You know you need a new life, like me, <laughs> when when you put in a, a new password and you get excited because it says strength, like strong, <laughs> strong password. That's right. Yeah, and I'm like, checks. nailed it. <laughs> and then you forget it. It's the little things, Delano. It's the, but you've got to have some place where you have that's them true. written no. down. That's true. Yeah. I have to. I know, yeah. they, I know they caution against that, but I have to have some kind of yeah. note. And I it's just, usually in code. I just it's to change the memory. numbers or do oh, yeah. a you know, little That's what I do here at the station. And you know? then... Yeah. You, know, you can always lock it away in a safe and right. then you might forget the combination. <laughs> Unless it's a safety deposit box. There you box. go. Okay, <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. All right, Mama Beth, we want your take on our okay. sound off. The former Taco Bell executive accused oh, wow. of attacking an Uber crazy. driver is suing for yeah. $5 million. This is crazy. Yeah. This the is dashboard crazy. mounted camera shows Benjamin Golden repeatedly wailing on Edward Caban or Caban uh, back in October. In November, the driver filed a lawsuit against Golden for $25,000 in. In damages. Mm. Uh, but now Golden has filed a countersuit for $5 million. He said the driver recorded him without his consent and posted the video on YouTube. So, Mama Mac, we are asking you tonight, does Benjamin Golden, the passenger who was wailing on this poor driver, have any chance of winning this $5 million no. lawsuit? No. 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 That's ridiculous. What's the purpose of the camera? I mean... You know, the, the it's police. It's supposed to be on, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be on. It's a sense of, isn't that a sense of protection for him? You would think so. I, and I don't know where it said or if it said if the driver posted that. You know, I mean, not. I know he posted the video, but if he put in the dash cam mount or if that was something that they are starting to require because, you know, you never know people who you're going to pick up. Yeah. You know, people Super feeling crazy. froggy after a and night Uber, out. Uber's probably making enough money they can. To, 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 you're right. To you could make people. that argument. Yeah. You certainly and I would could. think that would be a good. I mean, if he hadn't had that, it would have been his word against. You know exactly. Yeah. So uh, except for the bruises on his face and stuff, Absolutely. you know, it's, just, yeah. it's a slippery slope. I hope a judge sees that because yeah. it, it yeah. sets um, that's, that's a dangerous ridiculous. precedent. It yeah. does. Mama Mac, Thanks. you know it's always a pleasure when yeah. you come by and stop by on Tuesdays. You Thank you. Tuesdays. Sorry, yeah. I was a little confused there at the bit, you know, the beginning, but you know. It's okay. Yeah, it's I'm okay. confused all the time. So we'll be right back. Oh, you're an excellent company. <laughs> oh, we'll be right back. <laughs>